Hi, in this video, I would like to talk about the other approach instead of the night move approach. For example, the one space high approach or the, the large night move approach. I want to talk about what are their limitations, why they are not as good as the night move approach. Also, I will introduce in what situation we could try to use other approach instead of the night move approach. So let's get into the topic. Firstly, let's talk about why this approach is better than the other approach. When you play the night move approach, black can defend the corner by the kick or by spending a move play the night move or the jump. For example, if black try to protect the corner through this side by the kick, then white extend, then black jump. Now we have this result, then white will play an extension. Let's compare to the high approach. If you play the high approach, then black could play the attach. White play the hane, black reach it, white connect, and black could play the jump, or black play the knight move. We found that black get a little bit more territories. You may argue it is just a little bit, but in this corner, there is a free free invasion. If you block, then white could play the hane and get into the corner. But in this corner, if white again try to play a free free invasion, black could just block. And we find that there is no other defect for the black stones. So the black corner is bigger and stronger. We could also compare to the Komoku Joseki. Comparing to the Komoku Joseki, We think this Komoku Joseki is fair for both sides. And black could get around how many points? Black could here get around 19 points. But if we count this corner, if we count like this, then black has 10 points, 12. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23. Black has 23 points. And we can see that black has a larger corner. And not only black has more territories. We found that white has less space to extend on the edge. As here, black gets one step forward than the Komoku Joseki. So we think that this is fair for both sides. But this is better for the black. Let's also have a look at the large knight move. Black could also respond by the diagonal move, then white play a two space extension. You may argue that this result could be better than this one. Because here, black could play a kick in a center. That's why you need to play the extension, then black could already rotate the corner and play a jump. Here, after black play a diagonal move and white play the extension, if black need to surround the whole corner, Black need to spend one more move. You may argue that there is benefit for the white too. However, actually this kick helping white to extend could strengthen the white group too. After this exchange, white could play a free space extension. But there is only one stone here. So if white here one try to play a free space extension, then this invasion would be strong. And on the other hand, which is more important. After black played the disc, this corner is very solid. And when you play the free free invasion, black could just block. It's impossible for white to leave the corner. However, there is an obvious defect of free free invasion after this shape. So comparing these two results, black is slightly better when white play a large knight move. Not only black will get a better result when black play the kick, black could get a result when black play something like the knight move too. After this knight move, there are three responses for the white. The free free invasion, the attach, or the knight move. If white play the free free invasion, then black block, white play the hane. After this, exchange, 
we can see that this pip and this connect exchange. And in the future, this claim will also be strong move. But if we play a high approach, after black protect, white play the free free invasion. After the exchange, black could play the tiger mouth to hit this stone. We think this pip will definitely be a better shape than black could play in a tiger mouth and to hit this stone like this. The tiger move is a strong shape. Similarly, if you play the large knight move, after the free free invasion, black could again play the tiger move. So, we found that if we play a free free invasion, this stone could help the free free invasion the most because after the exchange, black could not play the tiger move. Black could only play the cornet and there would be a claim in the future. Another response for the whites would be the knight move. Again, we can see, if whites play a high approach, whites could not play a knight move. If whites play this knight move, this elephant move, then black could play the diagonal move to divide the white stone. And obviously this result is not good for the white. You may argue, then the large knight move would be good too. Because after black defend, white could play the large knight move too. However, let's see what will happen next. After black play the this and this. For the knight move shape, black have no measure to capture this stone. However, black could play a pip to capture this white stone in the future. If white block, then black could cut the white stone. So the connection here is not as solid as the knight move. And lastly, white could also choose to play an attach here. After this attach, white could play a double hane. If you play the high approach, if you play the double hane, black could play a hit and connect to divide the two stone. Here, the hit and connect could not divide the white stone, but the hit and connect could divide the white stone for the high approach. If black could hit and connect to divide the white stone, this actually is not very good for the white. So white probably would only play the recheat, and black could play the extension. Then comparing this result to this corner. Definitely, black has much less territory and white shape is more solid than this one. So comparing these variations, we could easily find out that according to the shape, it should be better to play the knight move approach than the high approach or the large knight move approach. However, when can you try other approach? Although we could notice one thing, usually for 99% of time, AI will always suggest the night move approach if AI don't play the free free invasion. And even if AI suggests other kind of approach would be a good choice, the night move approach would not be wrong anyway. So it's fine to never play some special approach, but I think go is always free. And I like that it's not always the best to play the night move approach. It should be varies from situation, right? Although according to the logic I just explained, according to the shape, it's better to play the night move approach. But for example, in this situation, the reason why AI suggests the high approach would also be a good choice is that if you play the low approach, white could play this attach to enlarge the territories here and to limit the moyo of this formation. So the high approach emphasizing this moyo may be a good choice. And you may also play this kind of move. It's also a good choice to play here. However, the limitation is quite obvious. White could really get the territories very easily. And the territories at the corner is very valuable. So when you try to play some high approach, one space high approach or two space high approach, we really need to be careful that it's it 
okay to let Wise to get the territory so easily. And for most players, they don't like it. And they would prefer the low approach or even the free free invasion to get the territories. But anyway, we could know that. When you play the approach, you are afraid the opponents to play the attach to press down the blackstone. Then you may really consider to play the high approach. It's available. And for me, I also like to play the large knight move. For example, in this game, at this moment, I choose to play the large knight move. Here, the best move suggested by the AI would be something like this, but I chose to play this large knight move approach. Why I would choose this is because I think if I play the knight move approach, my opponent will play this pincer. And if I jump, my opponent could also jump. I may choose to play this move, but black could cut. This cut may be quite severe. And if I could not play this cut and to play this jump, then the whole group is weak and do not have any territories. It's okay, but I don't like it. And although AI suggested to play this kind of move, I don't like it. Because Black could play the corner enclosure and to surround many territories at the corner. I think if I play the large knight move, my opponents could only play a diagonal move to enclose the corner. Then the efficiency of Blackstones is not that high. I could play a 2 space extension easily. And if my opponents try to play the pincer, this time I could try to play the large knight move or I could also consider the attach. So this large knight move works like something between the approach and the splitting move. I use this large knight move when I afraid the free free invasion would help the black to surround the edge too easily. Or if I play the knight move approach, my opponents play this one space low pincer would limit my area to get a base. Then I will consider this large knight move. I think this move is quite effective, although I seldom see AI would recommend it. It won't steal up too many points too. So I recommend you to try out this kind of move. So that's all for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe and also click the ring bell. Help my video to reach out to more go players. Thank you for watching and see you next time.